Howdy folks. Uh, a great thing about making these videos has been chatting with people in the comments about uh, drinks and people suggest things that I make and whatnot and I think that is terrific. One such person I had a conversation with goes by the name Blood Honey. That's a, these usernames. Blood Honey is from London uh, but originally came from Jamaica and they suggested I make sorrel. Sorrel, if you're from Jamaica, is like a Christmas drink made from hibiscus flowers with various spices and ginger in it. Uh, if you're from America, it's like a it's like a leafy green that grows in the garden. So how do you make it? Well, Blood Honey suggested or recommended, I should say, that you use fresh hibiscus flowers if you can get them. If you can't get them, you can use dried hibiscus flowers. Their suggestion was not to use tea bags, but I use tea bags. I have this tea. It's a local uh, quality tea, and this is a like a hibiscus blend. It's got uh, hibiscus, ginger, rose petals, and elderflower, uh, elder flowers. Now I figured this was a reasonable substitution. I had the tea already. I didn't have to, you know, send away for dried hibiscus flowers and. Anyway, that's what I did. I put in a tremendous amount of ginger, which I grated uh, on the advice of a YouTube recipe I looked up and found. I'll link that in the description. I put in a couple of cinnamon sticks, some allspice berries, and a few cloves, just in case. I simmered it on the stove for a few minutes. Put in the ginger, simmered that for a few minutes. And I let it all sit for a day and a half. Intense. It's gonna sort of. It's in a pretty intense, dry, spicy ginger flavor. It's really good. I added a cup of turbinado sugar. Some people use brown sugar. I figured turbinado would be fine. I don't feel like there are a lot of strict rules about making this stuff. Uh, you can make it as sweet as you want. You can add whatever spices you want. I'm assuming. Now obviously, I'm not from Jamaica, and this is not a traditional sorrel recipe. Now to serve this, I'm gonna put it on ice. Uh, you don't have to put booze in it, but I'm definitely putting in some Ray and Nephew. So th mine came out kind of intense and a little thick, and I put a little bit of water in just to, um, just to thin it out a little bit and make it a little more approachable, I guess. I'm also gonna put in a lemon peel. I don't think this is traditional at all, but I'm, I'm gonna try a fun garnish. I'm gonna do a little lemon peel, cut into a star with my little stamp. I'm gonna stick a clove in there, just for fun. So, let's see how we did. Obviously non-traditional, but, I mean, it smells great. I don't get a ton of allspice. Maybe next time I should crush those up or put in more. But you do get a ton of ginger, especially in the end. It's sort of a hibiscus at first. Nice, uh, sort of a nice round sweetness. And then like a spicy ginger aftertaste. Mm, it's very good. You can barely taste the rum. <laughs> like, there's only an ounce of rum. It is high proof rum, but it's not like, um, mega alcoholic drink. Actually it goes down pretty easy. I mean, I could get used to this, but I think I did great. This tastes amazing. It's like a new Christmas tradition I can start. And uh, fun international friendships. International friendships? Yes please. I say Soro a big success. 
Next year, maybe I'll try and get dried hibiscus flowers and make a slightly more authentic version. But again, I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. It tastes great to me though. Uh, I'd say thanks very much to Blood Honey for the suggestion. You got a suggestion? What are you guys drinking over the winter? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, maybe we'll, you know, have a nice chat about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you next time.